Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of your OGR as today uh, we got the Edmonton Oilers going up against the San Jose Sharks as uh, you know, we get another big old W for Big Ben who is in the arena once again as he got his uh, first official hockey card as well which is just absolutely amazing, the whole story on that uh, is just incredible, I've been following it uh, since, uh, you know, Ben was that skater uh, for the Scotia Bank thing. Uh, the Edmonton Oilers have been doing so much for that kid to make his day uh, and just to make his family even feel better. I mean, when you go uh, through something like that, when a young kid like that gets cancer, um, you know, it makes it very challenging and uh, it's heartbreaking. It really is for a family and for the kid. I mean, you barely you know, get to, to live the life that you really truly wanted. And now the Edmonton Oilers are really helping him, you know, get that little bit of that gift and get to see his favorite player in Connor McDavid and get to watch multiple games and get to go skating with them. I think everything that they're doing for this kid is absolutely amazing and is just a wonderful story to say the least. And especially us going nine and zero with him in the arena uh, is absolutely amazing. And uh, keep going, Big Ben, you're Absolutely a legend, buddy. Um, but let's get into this game here as the Edmonton Oilers went up against the San Jose Sharks. As this game was a pretty rough one for the Edmonton Oilers. We didn't play very amazing. Uh, the Sharks were all over us all game, and we didn't play that great defensively. So uh, before we get into all this uh, and about the game, I'd like to just say if you are new to the channel, uh, make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that like button as well as we're about 30 subscribers away from hitting 900. So if you can help me hit there, that would be absolutely amazing. Thank you very much, boys. So let's get into today's episode here uh, as uh, this was not a great start here for the Edmonton Oilers in this game. We were absolutely being overwhelmed by the Sharks. They were just absolutely feasting on us. They were all over us to start this game off. And that's how the majority of the game went. Like the Sharks did generate a pretty good amount of offense now it wasn't a crazy amount of offense because they're not a offensively driven team but they were definitely able to push us pretty good uh thomas bordaloo who i was talking about in the stream i absolutely love this kid um he's probably gonna be one of my favorites especially if he's gonna continue to play the way that he's been playing for the san jose sharks um but moving forward we'll get into the scoring summary noah grigger got the first goal of the game for the san jose sharks getting his seventh goal of the season i don't know what koskinen was doing here but he had the puck for a quick second and he's like hesitating and hesitating and then he slapped it super slowly no one was able to get a handle of it but for chemelinski who then sent it up to grigger who was dashing down through the middle and uh, he sniped it right into the back of the net uh, for the San Jose Sharks to get their first goal of the game. And then who knew? Oh, yeah, shit. Ducky Key turned over the puck, gave it right to Noah Grigger or right to Thomas Bordaloo, right down below to Grigger. And then Grigger uh, sent it kind of on net. He was trying to get it over to Chmielinski, I think it was, um, and tried to set up in front of the net there. But it went off the boot of Evan Bouchard and right into the back of the net for the San Jose Sharks to give him a 2 nothing lead. I uh, cannot wait to see Duncan Keith do that during the playoffs, guys. I'm really, really excited to see Duncan Keith do that during the playoffs because, oh, man, I am not ready for that. I'm re I'm not ready to see pain like that. Please. Please, no. Uh, moving into the second period, uh, we've seen Ryan McLeod get a big power play goal to get his ninth goal of the season. It was a nice booch bomb for the point. Tipped off a Yamamoto stick and then right on the stick of Ryan McLeod as he tapped that one right in the back of the net. And then Kaylee Yamamoto got his 20th goal of the season, baby. And people say he doesn't produce 40 points on the year. Absolutely amazing for Yamamoto. Gets his 20th goal of the season. He's been really heating up since Woodcroft has been hired on the team as well. Just a note. Um, but Yamamoto gets his 20th goal of the season. Beautiful pass by Drysdale. Nice spin around my pass to set up Yamamoto uh, to get his 20th goal of the season. To tie up the game at two. And then, you know, not that far after Scott Reedy. Ties up the game as the uh, Sharks get a power play goal. Nice bomb from the point by Burns. It tipped off of multiple people. And Reedy was able to get that last tip right into the back of the net to give the Sharks a 3-2 lead. Uh, and then right after that, Derek Ryan able to get his 10th goal in the uh, uh, 10th goal of the season in the third period. Where this one was also another tip from a nice shot from the point by Barry. And Ryan was able to tip it right in the back of the net. A few tips as well. It went off another Sharks player as well to get his 10th goal of the season here for the Edmonton Oilers to tie the game up at 3. Uh, and then right after that, of course, the Sharks take the lead again with Nick Benino getting his 16th goal of the season. Beautiful setup pass by Kachir. Leon Drysaddle was he, he was biting way too down below, left Benino wide open in center ice where Drysaddle's supposed to be. Um, and Benino took advantage of that and put it right into the back of the net for the San Jose Sharks 
to put them up four to three. And then Broby, baby, the Broberg gets his first NHL goal, baby. Beautiful pass by Connor McDavid and Mr. Philip Broberg as he got called back up from the AHL to take some, you know, some rest off of Chris Russell. And uh, he came in lineup and scored a beautiful goal for the Edmonton Oilers and get his first career goal in the NHL. And you just love to see it. And he was hyped about it as well. Um, this year he played 23 games, wasn't able to get one single goal until tonight. He was finally able to get a big one for the Edmonton Oilers. And honestly, that makes me pretty happy to see Broberg be able to do that. And uh, big goal there from Broby. And then going into overtime. And Zach Hyman gets that overtime winner. And he scores a big one for the Edmonton Oilers again. His 27th goal of the season for the Oilers. As uh, we cap it off and uh, we get another big old dub for Ben. And I think every Oilers guy was happy for Zach Kyman. They went and tackled him. They went and did everything to him. And uh, he got his 20 27th goal of the season. And it was a beautiful setup pass by Nuge uh, to set him up as he threw that one. Ran to the back of the net for the Edmonton Oilers to, to give us that big old dub. I mean, we really didn't need this dub, but I think this kind of, you know, juices up the team a little bit going into the playoffs as well. I think, you know, you get a dub like this where you're battling, you're battling hard. You're not really getting things going right for your team. The, uh, the you know, the, the bounces are not going your way and you're able to shut it down and get a big dub. I mean, that's, that's what it's about. You know, that's what it's about, especially going into the playoffs. That's the type of hockey you know, we're going to have to play. We're going to have to go and we're probably going to get our ass whooped some games and we're going to have to find a way to be able to win those types of games. So big old win for the Edmonton Oilers where Connor McDavid keeps his point streak alive and he just continues to play amazing coming into this playoffs. But it wasn't a very beautiful game for the Edmonton Oilers to say the least. It really wasn't. Um, now, of course, we're going to dissect every line, but we're not going to really hate on anyone just because, you know, we really didn't look like we were trying massively throughout the night. Uh, Hyman, Dreisel, Yamamoto, they didn't do a whole lot of offensively. And actually, every line didn't do a whole lot of offensively. Like, they didn't generate a whole lot of chances. And that's mostly because we didn't get a whole lot of shots on net. Like, we really didn't get a whole lot of shots on net. We only got about 31 to the 44 of the San Jose Sharks. And other nights, we've been able to pepper more shots on the net. Uh, but Hyman, Dreisel, Yamamoto, they weren't great defensively, but they did generate a goal. Uh, Kane, McDavid, and Poliarvi, they didn't do a whole lot throughout the night. Fogel, uh, Nuge, and Ryan, they didn't do a whole lot. They were all right defensively, and same with Broussard and McLeod and Cassian. I did like McLeod throughout the night, though. I thought he was probably one of our better players. Uh, he was doing all right, pretty good offensively, really good defensively. I thought he had a really good night for the Edmonton Oilers. Uh, defensively, Keith and Bouchard was hella rough. They had 10 goals or 10 shot attempts for 32 shot attempts. We They were bound to have a rough night, and tonight was definitely the rough night, to say the least. Um, Kulak and Cece, one of our best defensive parents, without a doubt, they played really well defensively, they didn't do too amazing offensively, and then Broberg and Barry, Mr. Broby, got his first goal of, uh, his career, uh, which is absolutely amazing to see as well, and congratulations to that young man right there. So, I think that's about it, I really don't need to divulge too much more into the game, I know it's a little bit of a shorter video, but it's near the end of the season as we get ready for the playoff action, these games are... You know, nothing really that important right now for the Edmonton Oilers. Just a few dubs to add into the W column as, you know, we continue to uh, win and get some more momentum heading into the playoffs as our first round. We'll be up against the Los Angeles Kings, which will be starting May 2nd. So make sure all those fans to be ready for that one. But for now, guys, I'm going to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching, boys. And I will see you guys all in the next one. Adios, amigos.